Now, let us work on one more problem after understanding the basic structure of, of our examples and uh, how to create state machines, let us construct one more state machine. So, um, so far whatever problems we have been consider considering they were all um, they were all overlapping as well as continuous windows. Now, we will talk about one problem where we are talking about um, it is it is non sliding window it is actually it is joint window problems which uh, now we will try to solve. So, so far all the problems were a uh, sliding window as well as uh, overlapping patterns. Now, because the window is going to be disjoint there are consecutive 4 bits which we have to match the uh, there is no question of overlapping. Okay. So, the question is that there are consecutive 4 bits and output would be 1 if the input sequence is 0 1 0 1 or 1 0 0 1. Okay. So, uh, to understand this problem uh, we will go to the step number 1. Step number 1 says that we have to uh, give some input sequence. So, let us say let us say the input sequence is 0 1 0 0 because it is a disjoint I will write a um, maybe uh, yeah I will put a dotted line and then there is a 0 0 0 1 again another dotted line then 0 1 0 1 another dotted line um, 1 0 0 0 another dotted line 1 0 0 1 another dotted line. So, this is my input sequence x and what is the output corresponding to that um, because this is not matching. So, the all the outputs is going to be 0 here uh, again all the outputs are going to be 0 here 0 1 0 1 again it is yeah it is matching. So, 0 0 0, but only when the fourth bit will come then the output is going to be 1. Here also it, the pattern is not matching the output is 0. Here uh, 1 0 0 1 yes pattern is matching. So, the output would be 1 only in the last bit. Okay. So, uh, yes the machine because my output uh, would be 1 when uh, my input is 1. So, it is it is going to be a melee machine. Now, let us try to draw the state graph. So, um, every time we are starting with the first bit. So, this S 0 state is going to be always the initial and starting state. So, for the second step let us say we will take this 0 1 0 1 as the first sequenced. Okay. So, um, now if input is 0 we will go to S 1 state, if input is 1 we will go to there is an arrow like this. So, there is we will go to S 2 state uh, input is 1 and then um, if input is 0 So, 0 is there, 1 is there, the next state would be let us say S 3 that means uh, the input is 0. Yep. And now, uh, let us say we have another state S 4. So, uh, the, the because we will again go back to the starting state. So, basically the, the pattern would finish as soon as the fourth bit is there. So, we can say that um, if output is 1 then we will sorry. Mm. So, if the next uh, input is 1 then the um, the output is 1 and we are there again in the S 0 state. So, that the next next pattern can start. Okay. 
so we are finished with the first sequence and we have uh, finished all the bits so that the output is 1 now let's go with the second sequence 1 0 0 1 is the second sequence now in the second sequence we see that uh, if the input is 1 then certainly this is the state which is um, different S4 okay S4 means 1 so we will also write the semantic meaning here um, Mm, now the next input is 0 so when it is 0 then um, you can see something which is common between here so we can still say that um, yeah so if it is 0 then we move to the S2 state so with this S2 state would mean that either it is 0 1 or it is 1 0 1 0. So, you see this pattern is common 0 1 and 1 0 is, is different pattern after that 0 1 is the same pattern in both the cases. So, we can we can reutilize this S2 state. So, um, S2 state will have either 0 1 or 1 0. Now, um, what would be the meaning of S3 state in that case S3 state is either 0 1 0 or it is 1 0 0. So, after uh, S3 state, if you are going back to S0, so that means either we are matching 0, 1, 0, 1 or 1, 0, 0, 1. So, that means um, this, this whole pattern could be matched with these uh, S0, S1, S2, S3 and S4, 5 states. Now, uh, let us try to go to the third step where we are going to um, we we here we also know the meaning and semantic meaning of this this state so step 3 is also there we know the semantic meaning of each state so actually this step 2 and step 3 are going in parallel now the step 4 means we'll complete the state machine So, when we are completing the state machine, now let us look at all the possibilities. So, um, if we are there in S0, S0, S0 it is already complete because 0, um, we know the transition for both input 0 as well as 1. Um, now, if the state is S1 and the input is 0, then we have to move to some other state. So, this particular state would uh, resemble that we have received 2 bits, but none of the bit is matching this pattern. So, that means we have to create another state let us say S5. This S5 is if the input is 0, okay. output is certainly going to be 0. So, this S5 state would signify that um, the 2 bits first 2 bits are not 0 1 or 1 0 yeah so that means either they are 1 1 or 0 0 so uh, 0 0 in the case of 0 0 it is this or um, in case of 1 1 it is going to be this so that means first two bits are are not 0 1 0 so that means either they are 0 0 or they are 1 1 this is the s5 state and uh, similarly this means that we are able to finish the we we uh, this s1 state is complete because we know that what is the transition for zero input we know what is the transition for one input Similarly, S4 state is also complete because we know what is the transition for 0 state and what is the transition for 1 state. Now, um, let us look at this at S5 if the input is 0 or 1 um, then either it is 0 then also output is going to be 0 1 also it is 0. So, um, this has to be a new state this X6 state means that the input could be 0 0 0 or uh, 1 
0 0 1 or 1 1 0 or 1 1 1. So, essentially any any 3 bit pattern which is not matching with these 2 patterns is a 6 state. So, uh, so that means, if the input here is 1 that also would mean that this is a S 6 state. S 6 state could be uh, 0 1 1. So, this is my S 2 state. Yeah. So, 0 1 1 or 1 0 1. So, any of the pattern would mean S 6 state which uh, the way we are trying to uh, put it is that S 6 is a new state which does not meet the pattern, but it has 3 bits. Okay. Now, uh, what to complete the state machine here? If S 6 would a result would be given any input 0, then also output is 0. If it is given 1, then also output is 0. Now, the only state which is not complete is S 3. What would happen if S 3 is, um, is given a 0 input? So, if it is 0 input then also the next state is going to be S 0, but the output is going to be 0. So, with this we are able to uh, complete this particular um, example using the, the procedures which we have followed. Now, we can uh, go to the fifth step to verify whether we are correct or not. So, this verification we can do using the same sequence. The whole idea here in this uh, state machine is that uh, we are essentially trying to find the semantic meaning here and uh, we require S 5 and S 6 states specifically that because um, they, are, they are essentially accounting bits which are saying that uh, whether 2 bits has elapsed or whether 3 bits has elapsed or 3 bits has been read although none of them is correct. So, this, this means that uh, S 6 is um, they are matching 3 bits, but none of the them is the correct pattern which we would like to meet. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, if we, you want to do verification, you can do it offline and we can quickly see for these, these 5, 6 patterns. For, uh, for this pattern, the uh, first state is, let us write the states. This state is S, S 1 is the first state and after that um, the the next state here is 0 and then 1 it is S 2. After S 2 it became 0 it is S 3 yeah. At S 3 the output became 0, uh, but the next state is again S 0 ok, because the input the, ne the next input is 0. So, from S 0 again we have received 0. So, the, the next state is going to be S 1 and then we have received 0. So, that means next state is S 5. From S 5 the next state is always S 6 and from S 6 also the next state is always S 0 the output is going to be 0. So, uh, again we have received 0. So, that means the next state is S 1 from S 1 we have seen the 1. So, that means the next state is S 2 from S 2 the input is 0. So, uh, the next state is S 3 and from S 3 the next state is S 0, but because input is 1. So, the output is 1. Yep. So, uh, this time the next state from S 0 the input is 1 the next state is S 4 and after S 4 we have received 0. So, the next state is S 2 from S 2 the next state is 0. So, it is uh, next input is 0. So, the next state is S 3 and from S 3 the uh, input is 0. So, the next state is S 0, but output is 0. Okay. Here also we are following the same pattern. So, from S 4 uh, because the input is 1 and from S 4 we are going to S 2 and from S 2 we are going to S 3 and from S 3 we are again going back to S 0 and the output is 1. So, this this verified that our input this this particular state diagram is correct.
now we can summarize today's lecture so in summary we have seen with couple of examples that the state machines are quite effective in implementing pattern matching and specifically when uh, input is coming as a serial or a single bit so when input is received bit by bit then um, the state machines can be very effective in in matching the pattern and uh, for pattern matching also we have seen with different examples that uh, there could be two type of patterns we have to uh, specifically look in the problem statement whether the pattern is sliding window or disjoint window usually uh, when uh, it is not specified it is always sliding window but if it is disjoint window then it would be specified um, in the question very specifically that it's a disjoint window um, and by default we can assume that it is a the, the pattern could be overlapping, but it could be non overlapping as well. So, non overlapping means that once a pattern has finished then that pattern cannot be part of the other pattern. Okay. So, the other thing which we have observed with uh, today's example that if we follow a systematic approach if we follow all these 5 steps uh, step 1 that writing the example sequence and then step 2 we start with one of the sequence and the other sequence so that the result is one and then the step um, along with that we also have the semantic meaning of each and every state and then uh, the next step is that we complete the state machine we try to have all the possible transitions which are there and uh, the last step is definitely more important that we have to verify whether things are correct or not. So, with this uh, I would like to close this lecture, thank you very much.